Hello, Ninglings. So I went to this conference called VidCon. You may have heard of it. Last week I did a video with Sabina, and I have another one ready, but I figured since I have time now, I would save that video until I go off to college and won't have time, so now I'm just gonna give you an analysis of what I thought VidCon was. First and foremost, I'd like to say that the experience that I had at VidCon was probably the greatest experience I've had ever. The best part about VidCon wasn't getting stuff signed by famous people or meeting famous YouTubers, it was meeting the friends that I've made through the internet which is somewhat of a weird thing to say, but it was one of the greatest experiences. I've got to meet up with some friends that I've known over a year, and some friends that I've only known half a week, and I got to meet friends that I just made literally in the five minute time span that I started talking to them. That bit was one of the coolest things ever about VidCon. You could start up a conversation with practically anybody, because everybody was there because we all had a common interest. And having conversations with new people is usually in an environment that I shy away from, but at VidCon, it was one one of the coolest things. It was very strange how quickly you could become friends with somebody just because you had so many cool things in common. And I loved it. But as I'm sure most of you have heard of by now, VidCon, the conference, was not as organized as I thought it would be. There was just so many fangirls, and there's really no way that I could say that politely, but there was. Most of the people there didn't really care about the community and just wanted to meet their favorite YouTuber, which took away a little bit from the experience and made VidCon unsafe. As I was walking back to my hotel after registration, one of the first things that I hear was was a girl saying, do you know where he is? And the security guard was like, where, who is? And she was just like, you know, the guy that everybody here is waiting for. She didn't even know who he was. She just saw people waiting and knew he was famous and wanted to get close to him because apparently that increases your life quality. That kind of thing would happen all throughout VidCon where a girl would see a famous creator and then start running towards him and that caused other girls just to see her running and would run towards somebody that they didn't even know. You'd think that getting a selfie with Connor Franto would instantly make you a millionaire. Lines were another thing that sucked a little bit about VidCon. There was a huge line that took you over half an hour just to get inside the convention center in the morning. And why? They thought it was a good idea to have thousands of people going into the convention center only through one door. At least separate it so the people that are only there for the signings go in one entrance and the people that want to get to the panels and learn stuff about the community go through another. The lines to get into the panels were pretty bad too. There was just way too many people on the second floor and it congested everything where one line to one panel was going through another line and security just had no idea what to do. VidCon next year just needs to be smaller because it was not safe. VidCon prom also sucked this year and I heard Michael Aranda did the past two years which made me upset to find out but we ended up just going to Denny's 10 minutes after we got in and Denny's was pretty freaking but enough of me ranting on something that was actually the greatest week I've had. My three favorite things that I went to actually at the convention center was one, the Less Than Famous panel, which just had a great discussion and it was great to be around like-minded people in the YouTube community. And then secondly, the How to Adult Q&A, where everybody was just a big whole family trying to help everybody out and it was amazing. And thirdly, the Intermix panel, where Charlie McDonnell and a whole bunch of other people just showed movies that were put onto YouTube, which was was so cool getting to watch YouTube videos with a couple hundred other people. But the best things that I went to didn't even happen at the convention center. Like all the open mics on the festival stage and also the concerts on the festival stage was so awesome. And then the secret show that was outside of the main stage and also the storytelling circle that was in that same spot. It was just so cool to sit in a circle and hear people tell stories. It was so cool to make so many friends in such a small amount of time. And like many other internet people, I find it's incredibly hard to make friends. But I'm actually going to hang out with a person that I met at VidCon tomorrow, which is incredible that I'm doing something outside in the first place, let alone with somebody that went to VidCon. I could go on for hours about all the good things that happened to me at VidCon, like the Julia Nunes concert, and I really do hope that I can go again next year. 